hello and welcome. This is Kristen from Life of Crafting. And I'm going to revisit, this was a container I kept, a paper that was from the Stamping Up um, Twall, like Christmas Twall or something it was called. And this was probably from like 2019-ish era, maybe 2020. Um, it was a paper pack that they did that was just garden green and real red and there was um, the same patterns and they just did it so they were reversed. I have a video and I will try to put the link uh, down below. That was what I made using all of the other papers and out of those other papers I still have quite a few, um, as you can see, scraps left. So having done some research online, I originally came across um, on Pinterest this Kathy Peck from 2019. She must have been a Stamping Up demonstrator. I'm really not sure if she still is, but I know I have this stamp and die set. And again, so this paper pack must have been 2019. Um, I don't have this ribbon, but I figured, you know what? I have all this paper to use up. This looks like it would be like a really quick, it's going to be some die cutting, I understand, a little bit of stamping, but you know, it would be good to use up all of this paper. I don't believe, I think this was a four by six paper, so I don't think I'm really going to get much in the way of scraps. Um, no, it's Maybe I cut them already. They're cut to a four and five quarter, five. Four. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe these were a 12 by 12. I don't remember what this is, but these are cut already in a four by five and a quarter, which is exactly what I would need for this sketch. Um, I'm not sure if I want to leave it in the green. I may try and do it in the red. And maybe I'll do half and half. And then I also found this one in my research, which was from, what do you my glasses? Um, Dawn Griffith. Um, looks like something like AAW something stamping thoughts.net. I, I really am sorry. Um, she was T hyphen N hyphen stamps was her uh, blog. I, again, I don't know if this is still current stuff. Um, I liked in this sketch, and again, it really printed out horribly, um, but I think you get the idea is that these feel like they could go right here and I could just quickly get this um, and use it up what scraps I have left here. So I have quite a few of these as you can see um and some of them will go um horizontally because i was noticing as i was going through that however they got cut um like that one doesn't it doesn't fit so i will probably have to pull those out and find another sketch to do them with but um yeah that whole print is gonna have to go in another direction so this is what i'm going to be working on i'm going to um first do this one here and get a concept card. I don't know how I feel with all this paper. She's got a bunch of, I don't know if that's sequins and gems or something on that cup. I'm not sure I'm wanting to do that much work. And it also looks like she may have stamped it in, let's say like green and then backed it up with green paper. Again, I don't know that I wanna put that much work into this paper. So we, we're going to try it, try it out, see what we can get out of this, and then um, I'll be back. Hello, and welcome back. I'm trying to get this straightened up. This is Kristen again, and I've been working on trying to make a card using the inspiration that I had in this sketch. And I'm going to tell you, it is taking me, because it's me, I have to make everything way more complicated than it was supposed to. This is what I came up with for a concept card, and I put this one cognac... Um, glimmer paper in there and I'm not really sure I really like it uh when I I like everything else but that so I haven't decided what I'm doing but um to give you an idea of what I did for a production I'm making 30 it winds up being 36 of this paper that I had and it's got a layer of this 
Christmas red textured paper from Hobby Lobby. And then, like I said, whether or not to keep that strip, I'm not sure. And then I had a two and a half by two and three quarter inch of the red texture. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. And then I cut the same size out of ivory card stock and you just kind of like offset them a little bit. So I glued all them down. I've glued all of my layers of cardstock to its layer. I do need to bring over my card bases and start getting them done. So these are gonna get glued. Started die cutting all of my um, pieces. The pieces are from this old stamping up set called Scent Sational Season. Um, her, hers here that she's using was Rise and Shine or something like that. And it was a stamp set that um, Stampin' Up! had at a time. And it, it you can use it, it fl it's reversible, the stamp. And I like it. But the issue I had was I did decide, no matter what I knew, I wanted to use him. And I liked the candy canes in there, but this was such a bigger stamp that I wasn't gonna be able to get, it, it was just gonna really fill up this space like almost entirely with just the cup so I wound up using the cup that came and I like the one in here too because it's got the like snowflake design in there so but then it meant I had to um, take a maybe I should go with something dark I had to take an exacto knife and cut out this section here to give me a place to slide the um, candy canes in so here I'm starting so put my tape on so that I can just start layering up. And I've said before, as I use these, these were from like Stouffer's Macaroni and Cheese or something, and I use them. So in here I have the rest because, you know, I, I can't count correctly. So I cut 36 candy canes and forgot that I'm duplicating that. So I needed double. Um, so I finally finished cutting them. I did all of my gingerbread men and I highly recommend if you're doing this, um, I used like the Stamparatus Misty kind of thing, especially with this stamp, it really needed like two or three different times to be stamped. Candy cane was easy. I think my real red was like really juicy, but the, um, the cup too needed it a couple times. And then I used, um, this die set was like, it was out of the time of like the bird ballad. It's a die that's just these like nested labels or something. And I don't have it out any longer. I don't remember what it was called, um, but all the, all of them are this shape. I can't see if I have that in there. And they all have this like border on them. So I really, and it's one of those like in out ones. So like the outside has the same thing when it cuts it out so you could use the, the negative one as well. So I really, it's the first time I've used that die, but it came out really nice. And I bought this Poppy Stamps Christmas Greetings from, I wanna say like, it was one of them times where like you shop Joann's and it's like, if you spend 40 bucks, you got free shipping or something. And this was a stamp that was like on clearance. I doubt it's even still available, but it was something that just met, I, got, I used to, to meet a certain quota and uh, it's the first time I've used this one too, but there's some really different ones in here that are cute, like Sleigh Bells Ring. They have a really cute like Deer Santa in there. I mean, it may still be on their site, wishing you the merriest Christmas. So there was Dashing Through the Snow. So there were some cute ones in here. Um, I chose The Christmas is Coming. Again, because it was just something different. I really was thinking about this one, Under the Mistletoe. Thought that was really cute too. So probably gonna be using that a little bit more. Um, and then I just felt like it needed something else and I put the red rhinestones on there. So I'm going to now, um, that I've showed you kind of how I've prepared myself to get ready, I'm gonna go and just assemble all 35 that are left and call it a day. And I will be back if there's something else to share with. If not, I'm gonna ask now if you like the video, if you would please give it a thumbs up. It would really help me and my channel to grow. Also, if you wanted to get further inspiration, I would ask that you subscribe down below because what that's gonna do is put me in your feed on a regular basis when I'm uploading so that you know there's something new for you to watch and you don't have to search out my channel to find when I'm uploading videos. 
Right now I've kind of gotten into, um, I'm not going to promise I'm going to do it all the time, but it seems like a Tuesday and Friday uploading is working well for me. So I may uh, try and keep on that kind of schedule. So bye for now. Appreciate your time. And like I said, if I have something further as I'm doing this that I want to give you more um, you know, tips on, I'll be back. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.